I remember when I got cut 13 times by my own goddamn family. We was downtown getting some Chelsea money. A lot of money. And uh, let me walk you through this thing here, man. It's like, my cousin, my little cousin was downtown getting money with his brother-in-law. The brother-in-law came uptown on my block one day, like, we was on 14th and 7th. I remember, like, yesterday, uh, 2010 Easter Sunday. We were drinking Ciroc, you know. Diddy just came out with the Ciroc around there, and that's when, you know, Coco, Coco Loso and all that. You know what I'm saying? But, you know, boy was, like, basically telling me, yo, yo, MC, like, yo, I need, I need help. Like, we, we, we killing them, but... Boy, boy, talking about my little cousin. Yo, he, he, he you know, he, he, he not, he not us. I need somebody like you. Ah, ah, ah. I'm telling boy, like, yeah, that, you know what I'm saying? That should sound good, but let's maybe talk about it tomorrow. You know, we drinking. Like, tomorrow we talk about this. Speed it up. Next day come. His son sent for me. He sent for me. He told my little cousin, yo, have him come downtown. I spoke to him, yo, come downtown. I get downtown with Lil Cuzzo and, um, you know, son is showing me the ropes. He's showing me how everything go, who's who, what's what. I'm like, how this shit going? But it, it's a lot of money. That's all I see is the money. And it's taking me out the hood. I feel like, you know, I don't got to be uptown. You know what I'm saying? Like, like, it's like fake out of town. They thinking I'm out of town, but I'm not. I'm in town killing them. Uh, I take son up on his offer and we start eating together. Now son got son it's a it's a project. It's a project, right? Son got the projects as far as the work go. But come to find out, as I started getting money with homie, the neighborhood didn't like him. He wasn't liked in the neighborhood because he was too flamboyant. Too aggressive, you know what I'm saying? Like me, I'm money Mitch. I'm from Upset. You know what I'm saying? I'm from the East Side. I'm Harlem. Like so, I went down there with what I seen my mentors do up here. I went down there and embraced them. So the hood embraced me too. Like you know what I'm saying? You know how this shit go. Like you know what I'm saying? So the guy that I'm down there with is on straight knucklehead time and. Including my little cousin, because he's just following everything the brother-in-law do. He's just a yes man. Now, I'm down there part of the team. I'm killing them with them now. But I'm more so moving, like I said, as I seen the mentors yourself, you know, others. Son started not liking me. Got to the point where, like, me and, me and, me and son just start clashing, clashing, clashing. And it became like an ego thing, a, a who's bigger, and you know what I mean? It was like, yo, I wasn't going for nothing, nothing, like nothing. So I seen this shit was getting, it started getting to the point where I seen it being an issue. So what I did was I went to the drawing board, I drew up a play. The play was supposed to be, yo, look, we moving that nigga out the way. They don't like this nigga anyway down here. You know what I'm saying? He moving wacky. Now he's starting to, you know, infringe on me. It's an issue. I tell my little cousin, one-on-one, -on -one, pull him up one-on-one. -on -one. Yo, this is what it is. Now, mind you, this is his brother-in-law. But this is my little cousin. You my cousin. We grew up together. You met, you met that, you met, you met that nigga's sister with me when we was skate key day. You know what I'm saying? So... I confided my little cousin, yo, you already know this nigga's moving walkie, he don't respect you, clearly he don't respect me, we moving this nigga out the way we taking this shit, you with me or you not? What cuzzo said? With you cuzzo, with you. He was with me, all right. Uh, I want to say like a week later, I end up getting into it with cuzzo's father. Cuzzo's father ends up coming down, pumping, hustling for the brother-in-law too. This shit is nuts. The father. So I got my little cousin and his father hustling for 
this nigga. You know what I'm saying? And I'm the nigga he giving the half half to. It, like, you know what I mean? But we we ain't even fucking with each other now. Like now it's to the point where I'm doing my own thing. I got my own connect. I'm building my own team. And of course, I'm trying to bring little cuzzo with me. We've been together forever. Long story short, me and little cuzzo pops get into it. A little verbal dispute. It didn't get physical, but he he was like, you know, he's old. This is, this is my cousin father. Be thirty three, so like he's a nigga all stocky. He's like, man, man, he tried he tried to flex. We we got into it. It didn't go nowhere. I wish it would have, and I'm a, it sound crazy, but you will understand why I say I wish it would have went there that day because to speed it up. About a week, a week, a week late. Now, I never exposed my hand, though, to boy, boy. All I did was tell my little cousin what we were going to do. Never, never exposed his hand to boy, boy. Boy, boy telling me he don't need my help no more. He don't want me dead. All type of fly shit. I ain't going for nothing. I ain't going for nothing. It's me now. You know what I'm saying? Like, we, like, we, like, we going we gonna to come to some type of agreement. All it's on. But I ain't telling him this. But he's, he thinks he's an aggressor, boy, boy. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So, a week later, speed up. I'm sitting outside. Now I got my own pumpers now. I got pumpers coming from up here, uptown, coming downtown, getting money. You know what I'm saying? We, it's a family affair. We eating out here. It's enough for everybody. I'm sitting in the bench park. I got bad feet. So, one shoe off. One shoe on, shirt off, chilling. I'm talking to the little girls. We talking about who's who's cute. It's like seven of the little girls. They all call me like they big brother. So we were talking about like the older ladies my age who's cute and who they thought was whack. And I just, just bugging out. And my little man, he, he doing him. You know what I'm saying? He pumping. Shoe off, shirt off. Real cool. Real cool. Comfortable. Too comfortable. And um, it's a mistake I never make. Never do this. I don't care how bad my feet hurt. I got my shoe off, shirt off, shooting the breeze. I see Lil Cuzzo, boy boy, in the father coming through the park. I seen him about three times that day. No issues or nothing. So they walking towards me. Unk is Lil Cuzzo Pops. I call him Unk. Unk walks up first. Little cousin and boy boy drags behind. Onk says, Yo, Neff, what's up? How did everything go today in court? I had court that morning. He goes to give me a five. I go, remember, I told you we had an issue. Little, it didn't go nowhere, but I, I wish it would have. Gives me a five. I give him a five. That nigga pulled me in and cut. Boom. I swear for God. I swear for God. I thought he jacked me. I thought, I thought he jacked, you know what I'm saying? He pulled me in, off the handshake. Boom! I jump up, just what I thought. Cut me. Keep cutting. But now we fighting, we fighting. As I'm fighting this, this, mom, this dude, boy boy, little cousin brother-in-law, comes behind me and cuts me from behind. Whoa, now they jumping me, I'm, I'm fighting, I'm fighting. The whole time, though, I'm not realizing I'm cut, though. I swear for God. Like, I'm thinking this it was a, a punch. So my reaction is jump off the table and get busy. You know what I'm saying? I jumped off and got busy. But the whole time he's swinging, it was cuts. I'm not realizing this. So remember I said no shirt on. I had cargo shorts on, so I had the tank top, like, hanging out the, the side. Man, I seen the blood all in my face. Pulled the tank top. Because now I see that they back acting. You know, I'm still like, yeah, what? What? Or hiking or drilling. But they backing up now. Like running. They like jogging back. So now I'm like, I get a chance to wipe. When I pull out the uh, the tank top, I realize my whole eyelid dangling. The lid. Something. Uh, something. I didn't know what it was at the point. At this moment, like, I just feel... As I'm wiping this shit, the blood is like is, is profuse. Is, you know what I mean? But it's dangling. You know what I mean? And um, all I remember is sitting, walking up the block with that one shoe still off, wiping my face, and I call my mother. And then I call Ed and say, "Yo, these niggas cut me." 
And it was like, I, I, that's all I had to say because I already had told my wife and my mother about what's going on with these niggas, like the betrayal and how, you know, we keep clack. I already put them on. Those my most trusted. So they was aware that it's an issue with this fuck boy, you feel me? But never aware that my cousin will betray me. You know what I'm saying? And uh, I called them. I said, yo, they cut me. Niggas cut me. And um, they said, where you at? I said, nah, I'm all right. I'm all right. I'm walking the block. Mind you, I got a whole, like, G-bomb on me. Because, like I said, little homie was pumping for me at the time. So I got more work on me. What I did, I stashed that motherfucking work right by a church in the dirt. And I went and sat on the side of the curb. That's gangster. I sat on the side of the curb and put my back against the uh the pump. Like to give me because I was like I start feeling hot. You know what I mean? And I sat there until the ambulance came. I remember when them niggas betrayed me and cut me 13 times. I wear them scars like the champ I am, no you heard. I hope that you enjoyed the video. Please don't forget to like, share, subscribe and hit that notification bell so you will always get an alert when a new video drops.